Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Shader Glass. Shader Glass is this super cool app that allows you to add retro arch shader effects to virtually anything on your PC. And it's super easy to install. Firstly, go to the Shader Glass homepage and you can find a link to it in the description below. And then once you're there, go to releases and then find the latest version and then download the Shader Glass zip file. And once you've downloaded it, you need to extract it. And you should see these files here. And then what you need to do is double click on shaderglass.exe to begin the process. Now you might notice that the screen capture has changed a little bit and that's because my graphics card for some reason cannot record shader glass and I have no idea why. So what I'm doing is I'm literally pointing my camera phone to my screen and hopefully it gives you an idea of how to use shader glass. And once shader glass is open, you'll notice this window here, which is kind of like a transparent sheet of glass almost. So as I move it over my icons, you'll notice that it begins adding a kind of a retro art shader effect almost and what you can do is if you click on the shader option here and then go to choose it lists all of the shaders that are available in RetroArch and they're divided up by their various categories so what I'm going to do is collect CRT maybe CRT guest advanced MTSC and you can notice that it applies the shader preset and we'll just move it across so there's crystal clear and then there's the shader preset and you can maximize this window if you want to, so you can make it big so it fills up your whole screen. And the beauty of it is, even once it's maximized, you're still able to interact with your windows underneath it. And if you want to go to full screen, you can just go to output, and then click on full screen. And then a shader is applied to pretty much anything you've got open in Windows. And if you want to come out of full screen, just press Control, Shift and G on your keyboard, and shader glass is then minimized. And if you want to modify the effects, what you can do is go to shader and go to parameters. And here you'll get a bunch of different parameters and you're able to kind of tweak them to whatever your heart desires. And then those, obviously those settings will take effect. And something else that's worth knowing, if you go to input and go to pixel size, so feel free to experiment with that as you see fit. And then once you've found something that works for you, just go to processing and you can go to save profile. And then next time when you open Shader Glass, you can load that profile. Another thing worth knowing, if you go to Output and Mode, just make sure you have Glass selected. And if you go to Scale, you can change the scale here. I generally just leave this to 100%. And if you go to Aspect Ratio Correction, feel free to change it to whatever you want. There are loads of options within Shader Glass that you can mess around with, so I definitely encourage having a little tinker around with it. Anyway, I'm going to stop the video there. I hope you found this useful. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.